Hi, this is Stefan from Byte Bytes. In this video, I'm going to explain a few things about the filters, how to use them, how to apply them, how to remove them. We're also going to cover the level steps that are yeah, built into the filter so you understand the concept behind them. Okay, so let's get started. So first, um, the filters are categorized here in a category called filters. Um, each biome has filters actually, so you can create multiple biomes and each biome has filters, so you can add filters to every biome. Um, so filters are added here by that plus icon. If you hit that, you get these categories here of filters. So we have some general design filters, we have effect filters, terrestrial filters, basic erosion, advanced erosions, and so on. Um, now, um, if you hover over these filters, you can see that work create creates a live preview for the entire terrain, um, depending on what filter you're actually choosing, right? So if you want to accept one of these filters, just hit the left mouse button and it's been applied here and added to the filters list. Now, filters can be renamed. If you double click them, you can give them a different name. Um, filters can also be removed if you just drag them out or um, if you hit the Del key. Each filter has its presets and level step strength. These are always common with every filter that you add here. For example, let's add the plateaus here. You can see that these ones are always the same. You have presets and you have level step strength. Beside that, you have, of course, base settings for the filter. So these are the general overall filter settings of a, of a, of a, of a specific filter that you have selected. Um, of course, erosion filters have different settings than, for example, here like arid and rocky plateaus filters. And you can change these values and you will see that World Creator is adapting them in real time. Um, just to show you a few things here, the erosions will work different depending on what you do here with all these settings. Now. Um, let's go to the very first things here, like the presets. What are presets? What are they used for? Um, how can you use them and how can you create your own presets? So the first thing is um, a preset is just like a setting the settings of a uh, filter initially to a specific value. Like this is one of the default value you have then here different types that we have created for you already. Now if you want to create your own preset, for example, let's do something like less initial water or more initial water do a higher deposition. And now we want to save that because we like that view, to whatever reasons. So we're going here to the presets folder here, and we go to the filters folder here, um, and we just create our own folder, and let's call this my presets. Now we're going to drag and drop that filter that we've adjusted with the settings and drop them here into my filters. They now belong inside here. We can rename that. Let's call this my erosion. We are going back to our filters here, and now it's been listed, as you can see here below, under My Erosions, along with the other types that we have created you. The World Creator, all these types that you're looking here, because all filters already have their own presets, you will find presets for that filter always listed here in that presets folder. This is a built-in folder, so you can't change or remove or delete or anything with these ones, so you just, just leave them as, as they are. If you want to create your own um, set up for, uh, for, for presets, create your own folder structure in here and organize your own presets within your own presets folder. Okay, now we don't want that we just remove this here. <clears throat> and now let's go to the level step strength here regarding the, uh, uh, for the advanced erosion. So let's switch back to the default settings here first. Now the level step strength, what are these and what do they mean? Basically, if you create something in World Creator, a algorithm like the filter is running through through the height map, through the initial height map, that would be in this case this one here, and apply its own algorithm. In this case, the advanced erosion sediment um, flows. Now, in World Creator, this is a little bit special because World Creator um, not just generates one resolution, like uh, instance the highest possible resolution, it, it creates all resolutions from a starting point up to the highest possible point. But the lowest point you can use for resolutions are is this one here. It's it's the first level. And this is a 2x2 two two pixel height map. The next one would be a 4x4 four four pixel, then 8x8, 16x16, 32x32, 64, 128, 256, um, 512, 124, and 248. Now 
These are resolutions. If you reduce these values here to zero, WordCrate is not going to run through the two by two pixel resolution and apply this algorithm. So you can see it only starts at two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. If I'm changing it, you can see here it does affect something. Um, the higher I go, the less the effect will be because the algorithm is operating at a very, very high resolution. In the end, if you watch, for example, that's, that part here, if I switch back to this, you can see it's a little bit more smooth. If I'm reducing the, the, the top highs, you can see how the terrain adapts itself. Okay, so what does that actually mean? It means that you have control over every resolution step using these sliders. If you don't want to, for example, apply the erosions at a specific level because it doesn't give you the proper results as you would expect them, you can either just reduce them a little bit or just remove them entirely, okay? For example, if you want to, don't want to have these depositions here, you would remove that one and you have the depositions in different locations. Um, now, this also applies to every single filter, depending on what kind of algorithm you're actually running. The erosions would be like, okay, we have the positions, so we can control the positions with them too. We have the um, erosion lines, so you can use the filter level steps too, to reduce the erosion lines or make them smaller or make them wider and all these. For terrestrial example, you could, let's do a sample for the terrestrial. For, for the terrestrial example, you could do, it would be like, sharpening the edges here. If I'm going to increase that one, you will see that the that the edges get way sharper now because I've increased the highest possible level step here and the algorithm runs also at the highest possible level step. So if I don't want that, just reduce them and that way I can a little bit smooth out the terrestrial effect. And it will give you, of course, completely different results depending on what I'm doing here. If I'm applying terrestrial here, you can see we get different results now just by adjusting how the um, Tres algorithm is applied um, entirely. Now, what's the possible maximum possible level step that you could apply? That depends on the resolution of your height map. Okay, so if you, for example, you have a two two forty eight by two forty eight, so that would be level eleven. This is what what you can see here. If I go down to one meter I only have 10 24 10 24 we only have 10 steps so that's important to understand really really important to understand that you can adjust these level steps and the strength and how the blending is um is accomplished by the filters depending on what resolution you are currently working on okay um okay so this is about the level steps and yeah the base settings now um, I won't step through each of them because this is really um, filter specific related, but you can view um, what each of the th settings is doing. If you click that icon here, it will bring you to the online documentation that is related to that filter only, where each of these settings explained yeah, by one or two sentences. So it gives you a good hint about what these um, do, also with some example images showcasing what, how the result would look like. Okay, so I think what's more important now is also how to reset quickly the settings that you've changed. For, exa for example, if you want to switch back, of course, you can do an undo like um, control and uh, using the Z key. Or another option would be like you could um, right double click here, always um, the captions or the, the labels here and it switches back to the original values. You can also, of course, use the default slider. Uh, the default preset selection, which gives you always the, the original value of that uh, specific filter. If you are also changing values, single values, and want to have the original back, then just double right click that slider and uh, jumps back to its original state. Okay, that's it for the filters. Oh, one more thing I forgot. Um, we have that changing here. Um, if you, you want to change that filter and see what would happen if you're <clears throat> exchange the filter by another filter, just hit that icon, the filter selection goes up and internally World Creator is going to replace that filter with a new one of your choice. And you just have to um, submit with the left mouse button. Okay, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching, have a great day and stay safe.